The Arab world is widely recognized for its oil reserves. What's often overlooked is the immense diversity of the region and the recent explosion of investment and support in computing technology and research. This region is very advantaged by having uh, more than 20 uh, different countries uh, with very diverse ethnicities, cultures, and languages. More and more resources are being pumped into research of computing. Look at the trend in the computing field in the Arab region over the last decade. Coast in Saudi Arabia, New York, University of Abu Dhabi and Emirates are examples of world-class graduate schools. Qatar Computing Research Institute is an example of a world-class research lab. Look at the recent rise of computing industry landscape in Egypt, Jordan and Lebanon. These are just examples of many things that came only over the last decade. This month's Arab World Region Special Section brings out the region's diversity, not only in the selection of big trends and hot topics, but also the makeup and backgrounds of the authors. So, for example, we wanted to cover the entire region, so we selected 18 articles from 12 countries from the Arab world. We also had gender diversity, meaning out of the 18 articles, nine authors were female, 16 were males, and we also had uh, diversity in terms of where they come from. So we have articles from universities, from research labs in the region, from industry and from NGOs. We also had different topics. We covered artificial intelligence uh, and machine learning, database systems, computer networks, natural language processing. Arabic as a language is spoken by more than 400 billion people and is one of the six official languages of the United Nations. However, natural language processing for Arabic did not have the same attention like other languages. In this special issue, you will find the state of the art in Arabic in Libya and speech recognition, where the region is leading the world in this research areas. Driving on the streets of Cairo is very, very different than driving on the streets of a city like Dubai very different traffic regulations and so on so people are researching even how something as basic as autonomous driving that is very well established in areas that have you know well-defined traffic regulations how this kind of driving will actually evolve in in regions that have very different driving dynamics uh, to say we have uh, another interesting article about sustainability in the arab world which is how to use non-conventional sources in order to develop algorithms that helps in sustainability of the world. So, with so much diversity in the region, is there a common research them evolving at the present and into the future? I see quite a bit of the research happening uh, in precision agriculture, in water conservation, in the diagnosis of diseases, uh, in solving people's realistic problems so that they can have a happier and better life there will be more significant investment in tech, education, research and industry. Several Arab countries are just moving away from resource-based economy towards a knowledge-based economy. You can see tech startups and the enabled industry are just on the rise. Investors' mentality is rapidly changing from the usual investment in real estate and international companies to investing in local tech industry. Learn more in the Arab World Region Special Section in the April 2021 communications of the ACM.